Hello, in this video I'm going to help you with showing you how to insert your image from an online URL to the class directory assignment. So let's get started. First of all, this is a really good thing for you to know. You should know that any image that you see online is of course stored somewhere in an online space because that's how it shows up. If it was on your computer, no one would see it. So for instance, here we are on the home page of our course. And if I just right click my image and I select view image and depending upon your browser it might say something a little bit different but I'm using Firefox. So I select view image and the image file is right here and as you can see it ends in a JPEG. So I'm going to go ahead and hit control C or Apple command C to copy that and put that on my clipboard. And then I will go back and navigate to the class directory assignment and I will select add new entry I will enter my name remember I have that the URL of the stored image on the clipboard of my computer I'm going to select this insert image icon and paste the URL the paste is command V, like Victor or Apple command V. And for the alt text, I'll just put my name. That's all you need to do and then select OK. As you can see, there's the image. Then I'll add a little bit of information about myself. That will be enough for now because I don't want to waste time typing while I'm showing you this. And then I, I will select Save Changes. But let's say I really don't want to have a picture of my, the same picture that's on my profile on my class directory. I want to have a picture of myself with my dog. Well, you have many choices to store photos online, as you know. You can store photos on Facebook, on Flickr, on Picasso Web. You can go anywhere. But I'm just going to go ahead and go to Picasso Web. And I'm actually, that's Flickr. I'm going to go to Picasso Web. And I'm going to go ahead and look at these scrapbook photos here. And I like this picture of my dog, my alien dog Puggles, and myself sitting outside. Now, with all photo sharing services, it's still a little bit different. You kind of have to look around and see if you can find a link. And here, if I click link to this photo, it gives me a link. But if I go back down to the very end, it doesn't end in an image extension file. So that's not going to work. So again, a lot of times what you can do is just right click the picture. And here we go, view image. There, we'll just scroll to the end of that long URL. Google's really good at long URLs. And there it's a JPEG image, so you know that's going to work. So let's just go ahead and select that, and I'll hit Control-C or Apple Command-C. Now it's on my clipboard. I'll go back to my EdTech 501 glossary, and I'll edit this. I'm going to put that other picture in here. So I will select this picture and just delete that and click the insert image icon again and remember that URL from my alien dog is on there so I'll hit control V and alternate text I'll put my name again and click OK. This picture is kind of big though. Easy way to do it just click it and grab the diagonal corners and make it smaller. Make it a little bit smaller and maybe a little smaller. <laughs> Don't want it too big. There we go. So I'm going to click Save Changes. And then you'll be able to see me and my dog, my alien dog, Puggles. That's all you need to do is make sure you copy and paste the URL of an image stored somewhere that you want to use. Make sure it ends in an image file extension like JPEG or GIF or PNG, and you'll be good to go. Thanks for viewing.